Hi guys, today we're going to be going through how to start an email newsletter using MailChimp. Uh, the reason you want to do this is because when you run a website, you obviously want to try and get as much traffic and people onto that website to see what you have to offer. So an email newsletter is definitely the best way to get repeat traffic and to uh, get people, uh, I guess, subscribe to your website or any of the services you offer. But before you get started, in order to actually do this, you do need to sign up to MailChimp. Uh, you can do that uh, simply by visiting a link below. Uh, it's an affiliate link, designwebidentity.com slash MailChimp. We do receive some award uh, for referring you as a customer, but it's still a top service. It doesn't affect your price in any way. So in order to sign up, you simply have to go to the website and click the orange sign up button in the top right hand corner. Otherwise, you can simply watch this video to see how it's done before signing up to make a more informed decision. Okay, so you've signed up for MailChimp and you're ready to get started. So this is basically the blank slate that you're gonna start with. Um, it says, obviously you've got a few things to get started with here, but what we're gonna start off with is actually creating a list because we don't actually have a list yet of emails to send to. So we're gonna go in ahead and just create a list. As you can see, we have no lists. So we're gonna click this button up here, create list. Uh, we'll give it a list name, we'll call it newsletter. Um, any, this is obviously, it could be called anything you want, uh, just whatever works. Put in the email that I plan on sending from, wadefitnessforhumans.com, default name, Wade Master, Fitness for Humans. And obviously just a little message to remind people as how they sign up for your, your uh, email newsletter. So you can put in something like, you are receiving receiving this email because you signed up for the Fitness for Humans email newsletter. One day I'm going to learn how to type. So you then do that, scroll down. Of course you've got some more options here. You can choose to receive an email summary every day of how your list is performing or simply receive emails one by one for each subscri subscription which each unsubscribe when you start out and you're not getting a lot this could be a good way to go because then at least every time you receive an email it's either good news or unfortunately bad news uh, but if you get busy uh, and you find you're going to be getting flooded with emails if you're getting a lot of subscribers you probably want to turn on daily summary if you want to have any sort of email notification at all so just going to click save on that one As you can see, we've created a list. Now, we don't have any subscribers at the moment, but just for now, I'm going to add a dummy subscriber. And uh, and that way we can, at least just for the sake of the video, start working on something. So I'm going to choose my Design Web Identity email. First name, Way, last name, Master. I click this and subscribe. So as you can see, I now have one subscriber to this list. So we're pretty much set up. We have a list, we have a subscriber. So the next thing you want to do is actually, we want to go back into lists. As you can see, we've got a list here. We click on that. And we want to, you might want to customize some forms that people are going to be seeing when they sign up for your list. So we're going to go to sign up forms, general forms. I won't go through all of these, but this just gives you an idea of if someone actually clicks to a, on a form, it takes it to a page and it takes it to a page to sign up, as opposed to having a sidebar opt-in of WordPress or something like that. This is the form they will see. You can customize that by going through and adding in fields and boxes and that sort of thing. I wouldn't be too concerned about it for now. Um, as you see, we've got all these other options here along the way, uh, like sign up form with alerts if someone has. Uh, leaves a form out or an error. There's an error in the sign up. They'll get taken to here. A sign up thank you page. It's basically uh, a page that people sent to after they've signed up, showing just a message to let them know that they're almost finished. You just need to check your email, and click the link. This can also be uh, edited and customized. You can also create a page on your website and send the people there instead. Um, Opt-in confirmation email. Once again, just another email to show them, like, yes, I do want to subscribe, to click and confirm. This can also be optimized and changed. Now, I'll show you exactly what happens when you do, because this is the confirmation thank you page. 
Now, once again, you can edit this, and I will actually do a little bit of editing on this because simply to demonstrate exactly how easy it is. But also, if you're offering an opt-in, maybe you're opting an e-book e or something for people when they sign up to the newsletter, this is where you want to put a link to it. So, your subscription to this has been confirmed. Thank you for subscribing. You can simply pop a link in here. You will find your free ebook on our website here. You can simply select that, click the little chain button there, and pop in a link. Now this is not an actual link, I'm just sort of putting it in here for sample sake. We're going to insert that there. As you can see we have a link, so when people do go through the whole sign-up process, they can access their free ebook, and this is just sort of like a the, the list of there's like a merge tag they call it. It just lists all your details that you need to have legally for your list. Save and close. Uh, now I would I would recommend actually going through not every single form, but maybe the initial subscribe forms and personalizing them putting a bit of personality into it, that sort of thing. So that way people feel like they're dealing with a person, not just simply receiving a bunch of automated emails. So obviously they're going to know they are receiving automated emails, but any personality you can add just adds to the experience. So we've set up these forms. The next thing we want to do is actually set up an opt-in on our WordPress website. So we go back to lists, click on the newsletter, sign up forms yet again, and embedded forms. So you've got a few options here. Uh, basically, you can set up, you can copy and optimize this box here, copy the code onto your website. You can, uh, if you're using WordPress, you can go into your widgets. You're gonna be, don't be <laughs> put off by the amount of widgets I have on this website. This is a, it's just a very uh, full-on sort of theme I'm using at the moment. So right sidebar content right I've got one simple thing there you can simply add a text widget into here and copy this this actual code in um, you can also choose a few different ones if you want to just really basic subscribe to our mailing list you can copy that one too a few other options honestly if you're not comfortable with code I would recommend going a different approach you can actually go into your widgets what we're going to do is we're going to go to plugins, add new plugin. There's a few options here, but I'm going to choose the, the uh, main Mailchimp plugin, which if you search for Mailchimp, it is the first on the list. We're going to install that plugin, and this is just—it's really easy to set up. We can activate. Okay, we can then go down to settings, Mailchimp setup. As you can see, there's a, a login page here. Uh, obviously, we want to log in. Uh, when you hit connect here, you'll be given a window to, uh, to fill out. So this window pops up, and all you need to do is insert your username and password, and then click login. And this will then connect to your Mailchimp account and make everything pretty effortless. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I just won't show you my details. And as you see, it's just loading up. And now that I have actually clicked my login details, you can see we can choose a list, newsletter. And we can then go through and customize a widget that we can simply drag and drop into. So you can say, you can, instead of saying subscribe, you can say I want in or anything, anything like that just to add a bit of personality, give it a border color, um, as you can see, there's a few different colors here. Background color, just for the sake of this, we'll make the background color a slightly darker gray. So we'll go okay, D, 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 D. As you can see, all your options are here. A lot of this, it doesn't even really need to be looked at. I just simply hit up, up, update subscribe form settings. Hit back into appearance and widgets. Sorry, we're going back up here, appearance, widgets. I'm going to scroll down to my right sidebar. As you can see, there's just a list of popular posts at the moment. So I'm going to go right, content, find a MailChimp widget. 
right here. So we drag that on there. Save. When we go back to the page and hit refresh, you see we now have an email sign up form on the page. So you can customize it using some of those settings, have a bit of a play, but this is just a it gets you started and gets gets something on there for you. So that's that's a nice easy way to do it. It's set up, anyone can can opt in at any time and there you can start growing your email list. So once you've actually got a few subscribers, you're gonna to want to send them an email. So we'll just click out of here for a minute. So we're going to go back to the dashboard and we're going to create and send a campaign. So we're going to click create a campaign. So now we can actually create segments and send to certain segments of our list. But for now, we just want to send the entire list. This is not something I'm going to cover in this video. So we're going to go down to the bottom here and click next. And we can name the campaign. Maybe we want to call it first email. And we also want to choose an email subject. So if you're promoting a post on your website or maybe you're even just sharing some information by email, you're going to want to have a catchy email subject so people do want to read it. So being this is for a fitness site, maybe we're going to put down how to lose 20 pounds in three months. And you can see we're pretty much right to go. There are some options down here for tracking, but we're not going to go into this now because a lot of this is pretty much right to go as is. Um, there's merge tags here you can use. If you do copy this, you get right click, copy. We can actually use that in the email to bring out the subscriber's name in the message so they can receive a message that says, Hi Bill, Hi Wade, or whatever their name is according to how they've signed up. And uh, that way you can personalize the message just a little bit more. So I'm going to click next. Now, there's so many options here that you can choose from. You can get a real prettied up looking email, HTML, color, with, you know, color, images, all that sort of thing. It's very easy to set up. But uh, for this video, and to tell you the truth, I personally prefer to go with a straight text email. And a lot of the most successful marketers out there have tested this and it seems to convert a lot better simply typing out a message with a link or anything like that as opposed to sending a hugely decorated HTML um, email. So I'm just going to simplify this a bit or delete this top one. And we're going to edit this bit of text here by clicking the edit button. As you see, we've got what we need just there. So I'm just going to delete everything from here and type out a message. So hi, and I'm going to paste that merge tag. But if you don't have that merge tag there, you can type in hi, click this little arrow here, merge tag, drop down, first name, Yes, yeah, things. We have a new post up for you. You can find it here. Now, obviously, you want to get a bit more personable with your message, but this is just purely for demonstration. You want to type in your email, your post address. Now, if you have an actual post, you want to copy the full address, not just the domain name. But as you can see, you've got a clickable link here. If you find it useful, Please let me know what you think. Or how about just please let me know what you think. Sign out. Cheers. Wait. So that's a basic message. Pretty much all, all right to go. So we've got we've typed up a little email, put, popped a link in there. We're going to save that. We're going to click next. And as you see, we're all set to send, set to send to one recipient because we only have one recipient on our list. Any replies will go to this email address. So we're pretty much right to go. So we're going to click send. And they give this little uh, sort of pre-send box here just to let you know that, hey, we are about, we are about to send this email. Um, I'm pretty confident we want to go ahead. So we're going to click send now. And now our first email has been sent. And we get a little high five screen. So that's pretty much it. You've created an email list, set up an opt-in form on your form on your website, and sent first email out to your list. So it just it's really just ridiculously easy. There's there's no reason anyone can start 
an email subscription service on their website. So um, obviously the good thing about MailChimp is the first 2,000 are free. So um, I highly recommend their service. I've used it many times before and it's uh, definitely a good way to go. If you do want more information, uh, we have a full post written up on designwebidentity.com slash MailChimp info. Or like I said earlier, you can sign up using our affiliate link, which is designwebidentity.com slash MailChimp. Uh, like I said, we do actually get some reward uh, commission for that referral, but it doesn't affect your price. Otherwise, if you're not uh, comfortable using the affiliate link, you can simply use MailChimp.com. Um, and thanks for watching the video. I hope you found it useful. Thanks. See ya.